All right, this is April, also known as Grandma. Today I want to uh, talk to you about something that uh, happened to me this morning. Well, it really started like a day and a half ago. Uh, the way that the angels communicate with me is by uh, having a humming in my ear. And uh, so I, I found out, you know, I do a lot of research, so I figured out that was what was really going on and it's been working pretty well with me so but last night and yesterday i just had this constant humming okay so let me tell you what i was supposed to be getting today today i was supposed to be getting a, a procedure where they uh shoot die up in me and i'll listen take me through this uh cat scan thing Okay, so yesterday I was asking the Lord, I said, you know, I don't really feel good about this, uh, but let me know if I'm supposed to be doing this because I'm trying to get away from <clears throat> letting a lot of things, you know, like injections or putting this in or putting this in, I'm trying to get away from that. So uh, when I got up, the buzzing was still in my ear. I'm like, okay something ain't right because that is like they're still saying hey look 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 pay attention pay attention so uh i'm on a new medicine and it's uh so i decided to finally look up uh i what i did i did a google search i said okay the name of the medicine uh is val sorry so i typed in val sartan and uh kidneys boy oh boy what did i find because val sardin it blows the kidneys out okay so i'm taking val sardin i've been on it maybe two and a half months now and i've been noticing different little things but i hadn't really linked it to val sardin i'm like man why is this going on but anyway when i googled it it has so many things like it'll blow out your shut. In other words, it will shut your kidneys down if you let them put this injection in you to like check out your heart and all that. They also said you shouldn't be eating bananas. You shouldn't be taking uh, aspirin. You shouldn't. It was like so. But the other thing is it makes you very sleepy. And I was going to ask my doctor when I go to her next week. Um. Why, why am I sleeping? But I don't know why, because I'm the main researcher. I didn't look it up. I just, I read the little label thing, but it, it rarely has anything on there about uh, the foods that you shouldn't eat on those, you know, with the do's and don'ts with the new medicine. So <clears throat> what ended up happening was Although I went to my doctor the other day, one of my doctors, and because they uh, merged with another hospital, they didn't have my records, which I didn't know. So I had to go back up there anyway to give them my medication list. And he had already said, well, we're not going to do anything until we get your list back. So in the meantime, they're still scheduling me with for all of these procedures now i'm keeping it in the back of my mind but i thought that he said that uh we're not gonna do anything until i we get your medicine uh so we'll know so basically i'm here to say you have to take your health in your own hands don't depend on your doctor don't be, even though both of my my nurse practitioner sweet as can be my doctor he's really nice he's a really uh expert in his field but i kept getting a ringing in the ears i kept it's like warning pay attention pay attention don't do this april that's how uh the angels talk to me okay now you can say that oh she she really lost i don't really care i know how they talk to me okay so I'm here to say, and this is not the first time something like this has happened. Literally, uh, I may have mentioned it in another video. Uh, 
I think it was the med foreman. The med foreman, uh, my daughter was on med foreman. And uh, one day she came downstairs and she said, I just almost died. And I'm like, what? She said, yeah, she was, um, she was in the bathtub and she had a reaction to this med foreman. She had already been telling me that she doesn't really like it. It makes her feel bad. She had already been saying it. So she was aware that it was doing something. So uh, then, okay, so we, uh, she had already told the doctor, okay, what does this make you do? Because see, we're aware of all this stuff. Like she said, well, having it, the first thing she told her when she, uh, was giving her the medicine. She said, well, how many people had to kill? What is it doing? <laughs> That's how we are. And, and she's just me on a whole other level, okay? <laughs> so anyway, uh, in one of my videos, I, I was telling you all that med foreman uh, decays your private parts. Med foreman give your uh private parts gang green so um back to my my daughter we had said well okay of course you're not gonna take it anymore so i'm here to talk about medicine and just be suspicious just be suspicious because uh i could have just went ahead and let them uh shoot that die up in me and uh it wouldn't have been nice. It would not have been good. Uh, so it causes renal failure. When you're taking the valve sardin and you uh, let them inject you with this dye, it causes renal failure. And uh, you're not supposed to be eating bananas, which I, I eat bananas all the time, but th that wasn't on the warning list. Uh, Aspirin, I have to take aspirin, I have to take beta blockers. So basically it's saying, oh, don't take this, don't take this, don't. So that explains a lot because I haven't really been feeling well and I've been doing a lot of sleeping and I'm like, I was going to uh, wait because I have an appointment. I said, well, I just asked her, why am I sleeping? But I'm the researcher, so I don't know what possessed me not to just look this up on my own and once I did boy my I got an apple so this morning I dropped the paperwork off with my medication list and I told them I said I'm not getting that procedure they're like oh okay and so I went downstairs and told the department that was going to do the procedure I said uh two African-Americans and ladies uh they were kind of talking. And so the one of them that was receiving me in, she said, well, how can I help you? I said, well, I got an appointment for today, but I'm counseling. And b both of them, cause they were like kind of haphazardly talking, both of them stopped and looked at me like, what? I'm like, uh, yeah, this medicine here, um, it shuts your kidneys down. And that's that's what I'm on. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing the procedure. They're like, Oh, okay. I can tell that, um, cause I got the same reaction when I told the uh, mammogram department that they couldn't put this little metal thing in me. And they were like, what? But we, we have to. And I'm like, no, you don't. And you're not going to, cause I just won't get another procedure. You did the mammogram and you said you saw something, which they find stuff all the time. But um, that's common with black women. We have more dense breasts, okay? We're thick. So you don't, might see something and you might not. They always say, say that they see something in my breast, but it never amounts to anything. And this would have been the first time that I let them do a biopsy. But mm -mm, no. Because now they're saying if they do a biopsy, they have to put this little metal in your breast. So like an X marks the spot. That's what she said. 
So they'll already know, oh yeah, we've already checked that part. I'm like, mm -mm, cancel my appointment. I'm not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. So this is grandma. I want you to be aware of what's going on with your health, uh, with this medicine, because re remember, killing us by any means necessary is the agenda okay so father god redeemed my life from destruction <sighs> as my mentor used to say i wouldn't take nothing for my journey i wouldn't change anything that has happened to me because it made me be who i am okay i have a high position in the kingdom and uh it is what it is no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So this is grandma. Get in on this. He will give you a heads up of with danger. I told you that before. Get in on it. Your house shines their way. All you got to do is say, okay, I see what's coming down the pipe. I don't want this stuff to happen. So repent. Ask them to forgive you if you've never done this before. Repent. Ask them to forgive you and mean it because you can't play him. Okay? And then you're going to need to have get a Bible that you understand and try to do everything that he tells you to do. And so, turn some of this technology off so you can hear better. When you turn off some of the technology, you can hear better, okay? This is Grandma saying, Shalom.